Tonight on Apple Valley News Now at 6, a fire that prompted level 3 go now evacuations in the Sela area is now under control. And tonight we're getting updates from emergency management officials as they check the damage left behind. And I'm tracking hot, hazy conditions. Just when are we going to get some heat relief? I'll get to all of that in your first alert weather forecast. And could cows actually hold the answer to getting carbon out of the air and back into the dirt? We're taking a closer look at a new movement gaining ground tonight. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. Highway 821 is now open for travelers after a wildfire sparked early this morning. Shut it down for several hours today. Authorities say the Sela Cliffs wildfire burned between 75 and 100 acres of land and it destroyed at least one home, which we're told had been vacant for some time. Those level three evacuations for four homes in the path of the wildfire were downgraded to level one, which informs people to stay alert and get ready in case of having to leave quickly. It's under investigation. Bureau of Land Management is uh, taking the lead, I believe, on that to investigate if they can figure out how it started in the canyon. The fire is not active tonight, but crews were still on scene, putting out hot spots as of this afternoon. Now, hundreds of firefighters are working to get a large fire near the Columbia River under control. The Tunnel 5 fire in Skamania County started July 2nd. It was just 5% contained at last check. Almost 10 miles of State Route 14 is shut down near the town of White Salmon because of the fire, and there are level 3 evacuation warnings in a two-mile radius all around the fire. We want to stay as far away as possible from all that operation. Um, you got helicopters dipping their buckets in the water to try and help save structures and everything else, right? And so if we can stay away from them so they can do what they need to do, I think that's better for everybody. So officials say this fire has burned around 550 acres so far. FEMA has sent firefighting assistance, but even once they stop it from spreading, they are expecting the fire to keep burning and to keep putting up a large smoke plume for a while. So you'll see this around the Hood River area of Oregon as well. The National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for the area that expires at 11 tonight. And it's not just the dry central and eastern parts of Washington being hit by wildfires this year. FEMA has also authorized funds to fight this fire, which is burning out on the peninsula. The McEwen fire in Mason County is just east of the Olympic National Forest. And officials say this fire is threatening homes, electrical infrastructure like power lines and communication towers and rail lines. The FEMA funding will help cover firefighting costs, but it's not available to help with recovery for homes or businesses that are damaged by the fire. Now, closer to home tonight, the city of Pasco is asking people to come forward with information after they got reports that several people were throwing lit fireworks outside of their cars onto dry fields. The Pasco Fire Department says the city is offering an award for people who report anonymous tips or suspicious activity when it comes to these vegetation fires. Authorities are asking for information like license plate numbers, descriptions of the vehicles. And ben Shear with Pasco Fire says if you see something, say something because it could mean saving a life. We've had several reported fires over the 4th of July weekend going into the holiday. Uh, people noticed cars parked alongside the road and then suddenly there was a fire. So, yeah, you know, if we've got somebody out there doing this stuff intentionally, we want to know about it. We want to get it stopped. Uh, it takes a lot of time, effort, value, as well as putting people's lives, properties, and their homes at risk. So we just want to get this stopped right away. So if you have any information, don't hesitate to call police or the fire department. You can prevent further arson within the Tri-Cities. And those fires blamed on fireworks can happen even hours after you're finished with the display. One family in Maryland found that out last night. Officials say the family threw out the remains of their fireworks in a plastic bag. Then their first sign something had gone wrong was hearing an explosion. Officials say the family got out of their home safely, but the fire caused more than a million dollars in damage. And it's also illegal to have fireworks in that part of Maryland, so the family may be facing fines or even jail time on top of the repairs to their home. So here in our area, we are talking about weather and it is hazy out there. It's very, very hot, Stacy. When are we going to see a change? 
Unfortunately, I wish I had that magic button, but we don't have it. And yes, we've seen the smoke and haze. It's kind of come and gone throughout the day. Right now, not too bad outside. 851 for our sunset this evening. Air quality, most of the region looking good. We have some uh, moderate air quality on the west side of the state. Again, more fires there. And we're still seeing that easterly flow. We'll have it again tomorrow and continue to see some hazy conditions in the area. Heat wise, it's just hot out there and actually going to get getting hotter moving towards the weekend. 96 right Right now in the Tri-Cities, 93 Walla Walla, it's 94 in Pendleton, 91 in Yakima. So no heat relief just yet in our, our region. Our wind speeds tonight are pretty light, a little bit breezy starting to pick up here in the Tri-Cities and in the Pendleton area, but those winds remain light. Increasing smoke and haze, like I said, we should start to get some smoke and haze relief by Friday, but that heat wave, it's continuing right into next week. Several triple digit days on the way. I'll get to that in your first alert full forecast. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. The new Yakima Airport director took over earlier this year with big plans for improvements to the air terminal and the available flights. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell says they are now close to putting one of those big changes into place. During the pandemic, the Yakima Airport dropped from two flights to Seattle a day to just one. A poll by the airport shows the community wants that second flight back. We had more than 3,700 respondents. And of those, uh, the top two tied locations were SeaTac and Las Vegas. If the Yakima City Council approves a new $500,000 minimum revenue guarantee contract with Alaska Airlines, the city could get back to having an early morning flight and a late evening flight to Seattle as early as November. That money coming from a mix of funding from the city, county, and private businesses. A lot of people are kind of frustrated. Why do we have to pay? And it's just, just the reality of the marketplace right now with the shortage of pilots and the increase of costs. The plan to start looking into a Las Vegas connection in the spring with flights a few times a week. They say the challenge would be to keep the flights full enough to make the profit worth it for the airline. Not sure if that's going to be a carrier or if that's going to be a charter and you know what the cost will be to have somebody come in here and, and, and fly that route for us. But we're working on that. In the meantime, improvements underway at the terminal, expanding vending machine options and adding new flat panel TVs to increase advertising and showcase the Yakima Valley. Not only the wineries and the hops and the beer, the breweries and the, the fruit, but there's a lot of amazing outdoor activities here. And in the long term, the goal is to make Yakima the state's preferred airport location because of its central location, long runway, capacity to expand, and vision for how electric aviation can help solve problems. That push continuing even after the Commercial Aviation Coordinating Commission hit a dead end while trying to find a new spot to compensate for projected overcrowding at SeaTac. Unfortunately, they did not have any real meaningful recommendation. But the Yakima Airport Director says with the new commercial aviation working group set to start over near the end of the month, Yakima still has a shot at getting that spot. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. And we have new information just into the newsroom. We have just heard that the Yakima City Council has approved the contract that would bring back that second Seattle flight. Now, as the airport is making all of these changes, they are open to recommendations from the public. They're hoping you'll let them know what you want to see in the Yakima Airport. Now, still ahead on Apple Valley News Now at 6, we'll show you just how hot this hazy weather is going to get. That's coming up in your first alert forecast. Plus, with summer well underway, we're talking about some of the ways to keep your electric bill from skyrocketing alongside the temperatures. But first, we're going to introduce you to researchers gaining ground with new ways of looking at how cows impact the environment. We're all here to talk about her. Hello. We built her so we could get a family plan. Well, with US Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line. I guess we don't need that fourth line. This is awkward. US Cellular, built for us. If you're sick and want to get wet. Patty LaBelle guest stars. Who would have thought that my beautiful daughter-in-law would be in my choir? I'm a bit of a singer myself. You're so handsome. The Wonder Years, tonight on ABC.
Saddle up and head over to Horse Heaven Saloon in Prosser, a family-owned and operated business in the heart of America's Hop Valley. Come experience in-house brewed craft beer, fresh and unique foods, and much more. It's all waiting for you at the Horse Heaven Saloon in historic downtown Prosser. Introducing the new line of crispy chicken pizzas from Little Caesars. Large pizzas with white sauce and crispy chicken, topped with either a swirl of barbecue, buffalo, or garlic parm sauce, or choose no swirl at all. New crispy chicken pizzas available online for $9.99. Pizza, pizza. Get 2.9% APR plus 500 purchase allowance on a 2023 Cadillac XT4. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my original My Slippers are back in stock. You've made them a huge success, and now I've added smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new colors. And with your promo code, you still save $90 a pair. Not only that, I'm having the biggest closeout sale ever on our sandals and slides for as low as $19.98. What makes my slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not gonna find in any other slippers. My slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help reduce stress on your feet. Wear them anytime, anywhere. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90 on my original my slippers or for as low as $19.98, you can get our sandals or slides. Quantities won't last long, and with my 60-day money-back guarantee, you can rest assured they'll be the most comfortable footwear you'll ever own. You're getting a $1,000 check for Dayspring Ministries. The need that the women have in the jail is tremendous. Knowing that you're helping someone else, you know, and that you're making a difference in their life. She's like my hero. I just want to be just like her when I get older. <laughs> All goes to God because I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> STCU's Volunteers Count honors volunteers in our communities. Please tell us a story of someone you believe is making an impact. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. Trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See, $600 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Portion of CapKV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Well, this week saw the hottest global temperature ever recorded, according to data from the U.S. National Centers for Environmental Prediction. On Monday, they say the average global temperature reached 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the highest since records began. But on Tuesday, it climbed even higher to 62.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, 62.9 degrees Fahrenheit sounds pretty pleasant right now. But remember, this is the global average, and half the planet is supposed to be in the middle of winter right now. Now, you've heard the arguments that going vegan is good for the environment because cows and other livestock contribute to carbon emissions. Now, some scientists, though, are saying not so fast. Researchers say if farmers change the way they manage cattle, it could make a drastic difference. Bill Weir has a closer look at that movement. Well, so adaptive multi-paddock grazing, AMP grazing, is a way that mimics the way bison have moved across the Great Plains. And so it's really about the animals hit an area really hard and then they leave it for a long time. Peter Bick is a professor at Arizona State University, and he believes that if enough beef and dairy operations copy this simple hack, cattle could actually become an ally in the fight against climate change. For his docu-series, Root So Deep, You Can See the Devil Down There, Bick assembled a team of scientists. We're really interested in insects that live in poop. Experts in bugs and birds. Yes, Bob White. Cows, soils, and carbon. They spent years comparing five sets of neighboring farms in the southeast. On one side, traditional grazers who let cows roam one big field for months at a time and often cut fertilized grass for hay. Woo! Come on! On the other side, amp grazers who never mow or fertilize. You open a gate, they go through. It takes five minutes. Cooper will roll up a wire. 
and with a single line of electrical fence, move their cows from one patch of high grass to the next. And that's building fence. This is how easy it is, Tater. While their science is yet to be published and peer-reviewed, Bick says early data has found amp farms pulling down up to four times the carbon, while holding 25% more microbes, three times the bird life, and twice as much rain per hour. If it's a thousand acre farm, it's 54 million gallons of water. That's now washing your soil away versus soaking into your land. Wow, look at this grass. But this is also a human experiment to see whether data and respectful discussion can change hearts and minds. This was grazed about 40 days ago. And this hadn't been fertilized in 12 years. Awesome. And when we got out of spending money on fertilizer, it was huge, mm -hmm. huge. And I didn't think it would ever happen. Curtis Spangler is one of the conventional farmers in Roots So Deep. And he says his mind was changed when he realized he now has a way to double his herd and quit his second off-farm job. And right now, we're having to dump thousands of dollars into nitrogen every year that really, if we just change a couple things, we might be able to save that money to put it toward other uh, resources. Is that something you're committed to doing now as oh, a result yeah. of this project? We're, yeah. we're really looking and seeing the benefits of it and how we can work it. There is ways to produce meat that is not good for the planet. And there's ways to produce meat that's really good for the planet. And that's the nuance that's been missing. That was Bill Weir reporting. Now, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization, livestock farming currently accounts for more than 14% of man-made emissions. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And yay, finally one for the cows, right? All right, let's take a look outside at our Legends Casino Skycam out at Columbia Point. Again, we've been seeing a little smoke and haze. Not too bad this evening. The wind kind of shifted direction slightly and that kind of blew the smoke out. However, that's not going to be the case overnight into tomorrow. Let's plan your evening out, though. It's going to finally get down into the 80s in the Tri-Cities at 9 o'clock tonight. Again, those hazy conditions persist. Most of the smoke's at an upper elevation, so you can't really see it. And not as much as you did yesterday, but it is still present and affecting air quality. Hazy skies again tonight in Yakima will be down to 85 degrees at 9 p.m. In Walla Walla, again, pleasant evening there. 80s at 8, 80 degrees at 9 p.m. And again, the hazy conditions still exist. Satellite and radar, again, ridge of high pressure. Not a lot has changed there. We're kind of sitting between two uh, jet streams, which is holding that smoke and that kind of stagnant air in our region. And that's going to continue. Now, that's going to start shifting on Thursday day into Friday, we'll see the wind direction change and we'll start to see uh, tighter pressure, which is also going to create some breezy to gusty winds heading towards the weekend. Right now we'll see wind speeds in the Tri-Cities at 10 miles per hour, 11 in Pendleton, 5 in Toppenish, 6 in Ellensburg. Uh, Futurecast says we'll have some uh, gusts coming up to about 20 miles an hour in the Yakima area. Lighter winds this evening down in the Columbia Basin and along the foothills of the Blues, you'll see winds to, uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour uh, gust wise anyway. Starting our day tomorrow, again, we'll see some breezy winds to start with, and then we'll finally see those winds once again start to pick up in the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys and down the Columbia River Gorge as well. So here's your Friday at noon, and again, Friday afternoon into the weekend, we're going to start to see some gustier wind, again, increasing our fire danger, very low humidity, still have a red flag warning for the Cascades and the west side of the state all the way down into Oregon, and there's several fires actually burning there as we speak. So that is a big concern again as we have this uh, relatively long heat wave uh, underway in the eastern part of the state. Again, temperatures around the area nice and warm. Our air quality is doing okay considering the smoke and haze that's been around throughout the day. Uh, again, here's that smoke forecast. You see it mostly coming down from Canada, but we're seeing a little bit of smoke from those fires on the west side traveling through when the wind uh, shifts direction. So again, just be prepared for smoky, hazy conditions. Temperatures overnight, uh, pretty warm. Warm tonight, 65 for the low in Tri-Cities, 62 in Walla Walla, 61 Toppenish, 65 in Yakima. For tomorrow, again, it's going to be hot and hazy once again. And look at this. We see triple digits in the Columbia Basin area, 97 in Toppenish and Yakima, 99 tomorrow in Walla Walla, 95 degrees in Ellensburg. Weather photos. Here's a beauty. Again, this time of year and a little bit of haze in the air actually makes for great photography. So thanks to James Tuck of Prosser for getting this picture of Prosser. Remember, you can send your
your weather photos to esley at applevalleynewsnow.com. I'd love to get those on the air. Here's the short term forecast going towards the weekend. Again, triple digits there, close to the triple digits in Yakima, hot and hazy through Friday. And again, we'll start to get a bit, a little bit of relief from, from those uh, hazy conditions Friday evening into Saturday. Stay with me. I've got more. Your travel forecast is on the way coming up in just a bit. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. And as those temperatures are going up, we're talking about ways to keep your cooling bill from going up with them. That's next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Come on, ideas, people. Spicy sauce to loaded chicken sando, curly fries, taco, Sprite, and a baked brownie. You did? I was just gonna say that. Same. My munchie meal, only at Jack in the Box. I'm Richard Karn, and I love my hose. My hose oh. is lightweight. Oh no. My hose will not kink. Come on. And my hose is anti-leak. It ain't those old hoses. This is my hose. The new Pocket Hose Copper Bullet. Now infused with real copper, so your water is always clean and lead-free. Just turn on the water and watch your hose grow and grow to a full-size three-quarter inch hose. And when you turn off the water, away it goes, shrinking and squeezing that water out until it's practically bone dry. Our new inner tube uses three layers of high-strength latex on the inside. Then it's wrapped in a new polymer filament jacket, the same technology used in forest fire hoses because it's light and tough, three times stronger than the other hoses. It's guaranteed for 10 years. Nearly impossible to tear or snag. And the redesigned connector protector with flexible collar helps stop leaks at the spigot. But my favorite part of our new hose build, the oversized easy to grip fittings. Easy on and off, even with gloves. Perfect for power washing cars and trucks, ready to go anywhere, even your pocket. With more than 100 patents worldwide, it's the best pocket hose in the world. Get the super light 25 foot pocket hose copper bullet today for only $29.99. But wait, call now and get our turbo shot adjustable nozzle. From those delicate flowers to power washing beer walkway, a $20 value absolutely free. Copper bullet is not available in stores. This is an exclusive advanced release of our 2024 edition pocket hose. There is a strict limit of three per order. Don't wait, order now. Call 1-800-957-6218, that's 1-800-957-6218, or visit copperbullethose.com. So call 1-800-957-6218 now. Weekdays at 11, after the view. You've got a date with Access Daily. Food, self-improvement, and of course, fun. You don't know this. Then at noon, ABC's GMA3. Access Daily, weekdays at 11, on Apple Valley News Now. Next live with Kelly and Mark. Johnny Knoxville from the Brink Panel. Here we go. Plus Lola Tong from the Summer I Turned Pretty. Tomorrow at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Hey Snoop, wrong commercial. Where are we going, Jack? Now that's a munchy meal. You could also swap that ultimate cheeseburger for a spicy chicken sandwich. For real? For real. For real? Uh, yeah, for real. Build your own munchy meal. Only at Jack in the Box. Welcome back with summer's scorching heat. We are all looking for ways to stay cool, hopefully without breaking the budget. One of the big ways to do that is to bump up your thermostat. The U.S. Energy Department estimates you could save as much as 10% a year on both heating and cooling costs by adjusting the thermostat. The department recommends turning the thermostat back 7 to 10 degrees from its normal setting for 8 hours a day. You can also try to reduce your home's radiant heat gain. That's done by closing the blinds or curtains so that the sun is not shining in, heating up the rooms. And make sure to stay on top of replacing dirty air filters in your air conditioning system. It's estimated that replacing a dirty filter could reduce energy consumption by 5 to up to 15 percent. For those of you planning to stay cool with the summer vacation, we're talking about ways to avoid getting caught up in a travel meltdown like the ones we've seen over the past recent holiday weekends. That's next. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. 
at West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, stunning smiles for the whole family. It's the Ford Big Deal 4th of July sales event. Choose from big deals and great rates on new trucks and SUVs. Now through July 5th, lease F-150 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months with $7.50 trade assist cash and $54.49 due at signing. Only at your local Ford dealer. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. Weichardt, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. A new roof looks great. A new roof with new gutters looks amazing. With Aero Roofing, amazing is now more affordable than ever. Get 25% off gutters with your new re-roof. Did we mention our 50-year roof warranty at no extra cost? Don't miss this limited time offer. Give Aero Roofing a call today. Whether you're looking to add a splash of color to your home, planting your very own vegetable garden, or expanding your dream landscape, Queen's Gate Gardens is the place to go this summer. Queen's Gate Gardens in Richland, let's grow together. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe in the healing power of a new smile, the way it makes you look and feel, the way a smile lights up a room, so people can see the best version of you, which is why we make new smiles affordable for everyone, so you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Scan the QR code to learn more, or visit AffordableDentures.com. Go ahead and smile. Ooh, someone just got the new DQ Cake Batter Cookie Dough Blizzard. All that DQ soft serve, cake batter flavor, confetti cookie dough pieces, and signature sprinkles? Dad, you said you'd wait until you got home before digging in. I never said that. Pretty sure you did. <laughs> Cue the confetti! That's cold. Because the new DQ Cake Batter Cookie Dough Blizzard won't be here forever. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it in the app. So, Richardson family, the neighbors are very curious about your new family member. Oh, Robe Elizabeth? Hello. We built her when our daughter moved out so we could keep our family plan and save money. With U.S. Cellular, you don't need a fourth line to get the best deal. It's just $19.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. Oh. I guess we don't need a fourth line anymore. This is awkward. Now at U.S. Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line. U.S. Cellular, built for us. I'm Buzz the Bee from the Painting Bees. We do interior painting and cabinetry as well. We have a full crew that takes care of everything, and all we really want you to do is to kick back and relax. Visit our website or call us at 591-8160. It's the Ford Big Deal 4th of July sales event. Choose from big deals and great rates on new trucks and SUVs. Now through July 5th, lease F-150 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months with $7.50 trade assist cash and $54.49 due at signing. Only at your local Ford dealer. As millions of Americans skipped town for Independence Day getaways, a meltdown at United Airlines early last week, followed by severe storms across much of the country, led to long delays and thousands of cancellations leading up to and throughout the holiday travel period. Experts say that should be easing this week, but if you do have an upcoming trip planned, one travel analyst says you can avoid some of those problems by trying to book a morning departure prioritizing non-stop flights if you can, and just be prepared for lots of a company. People should just be cautiously optimistic. Always give yourself more time than you need, especially uh, the fact that we are going to be seeing more people traveling and again, longer lines uh, pretty much everywhere. The TSA says from Thursday through Sunday, almost 11 million people went through airport security. A well, marathon negotiating session between UPS and the Teamsters Union ended early this morning without a deal to avoid a strike. Both sides are accusing the other of walking away from the table. The issue here is money. The union says that UPS has made record profits over the past five years. Executives are getting multi-million dollar salaries, and they say that the drivers should be getting better pay. Now, the driver's current contract expires at the end of this month, which means 
340,000 UPS workers could go on strike August 1st. But UPS could actually see the impacts even before that. Some customers are likely to sign long-term deals with UPS's competition by the end of this week if they don't have a tentative agreement in sight. Well, we're talking about your hazy weather in your first alert forecast coming up. Stacey Lee has a look at when you can expect to see some changes that's ahead. But first, we are tracking more than a dozen mass shootings over the course of the Independence Day holiday weekend. This as more and more people are calling for action. The news at 6.30 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. New tonight, Walla Walla police say they've arrested an 18-year-old accused of kidnapping a young woman last night. Police say they got a call about a man with a gun near Walla Walla Community College just before 10.30 last night. Now at the time, there would have been a big crowd in the area because that is where the fireworks show was happening. Witnesses told police the 18-year-old suspect forced an 18-year-old woman into a vehicle against her will. Police used the victim's phone to track her down. They found her in a basement calling for help. Police say the suspect got away while they were rescuing that victim, but they say he turned himself in at the Walla Walla Police Department less than an hour after the search ended. He's now been booked into jail for kidnapping, first degree domestic violence and assault, second degree domestic violence. Now, believe it or not, this is the worst time of year for mass shootings. There were 17 during the 4th of July holiday weekend. At least 18 people were killed and more than 100 were injured. Ryan Young has the latest from across America. The long 4th of July holiday ended in tragedy for many communities across the country. A series of mass shootings over the four day period left at least 16 dead and 94 injured, according to the Gun Violence Archive. In Philadelphia Monday night, a 40 year old man armed with an assault rifle and a handgun fired randomly along several blocks in the southwest part of the city, killing five people, one of whom was just 15 years old and injuring at least four others. The suspect, who's being held without bail, made his first appearance in court today. The city's district attorney says authorities are still trying to determine if the assault rifle used in the shooting was purchased legally. And Larry Krasner also lashed out over the state's gun regulations, calling them crap in comparison to other states in the Northeast. It's time for people who are running for office to swear off NRA money, to swear off gun lobby money, to swear off this absurd interpretation of the Second Amendment that has been put out there by militias. Gunfire erupted late on the night of the 4th at a community block party in Shreveport. Police say the shooting killed four people and wounded seven others. No suspects have been arrested. You have caused us grief. You have caused us pain. And I want whoever you are to pay. And I want you to pay relentlessly. Also on Monday in Fort Worth, Texas, several unknown men started firing into a crowd killing three people and injuring eight others during a neighborhood 4th of July parade. Victoria Sally lost her 18-year-old nephew in the shooting. That was, his, that was his first day off in like forever, and he just wanted to enjoy the little whatever was going on. A mass shooting at an annual block party in Baltimore killed an 18-year-old woman and a 20-year-old early Sunday. 28 other people were injured. I think, frankly, people are, are tired of the, the, the finger pointing in the politics when nothing happens and nothing gets done except we just can you continue going from tragedy to tragedy. In the nation's capital earlier this morning, shots fired from a speeding SUV. It injured nine people who were celebrating the fourth. The victims include a 10 year old and a 17 year old whose injuries weren't life threatening. We are uh, also troubled by violent incidents that we've seen around the country where violence uh, and guns marred a holiday weekend. That was Ryan Young reporting. Now today, the shooter who killed 23 people at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas in 2019 began the process of learning his punishment. The now 24 year old pleaded guilty earlier this year to 90 federal charges related to the 2019 attack, including dozens of hate crime charges. Federal prosecutors agreed not to pursue the death penalty in this case, but the hearing to determine his punishment could take several days, and the shooter is still facing state charges in Texas, which could result in the death penalty if he is convicted.
Also today, a 26-year-old soldier pleaded not guilty to charges related to a deadly shooting near the Gorge Amphitheater in Grant County. Investigators say James Kelly took a dose of mushrooms before attending a music festival with his girlfriend on June 17th. Investigators say at some point, Kelly ran back to his truck, parked in a nearby camping area, and allegedly got a gun out and started shooting, killing two young women and injuring his girlfriend. Kelly pleaded not guilty today to charges of first-degree murder, first-degree assault, and first-degree assault domestic violence. The Grant County Sheriff's Office says he's due back in court on July 25th. Now switching gears here, we are talking weather and it is very hot, very hazy out there. Stacy Lee has your first alert forecast. That's pretty much it. Hot and hazy and that's going to be uh, the, the trend for the next couple of days. Anyway, we're sitting at 100 degrees right now in the Dalles, 96 Tri Cities, 91 in Yakima, it's 95 in Walla Walla. And unfortunately, these temperatures are going to continue to climb. We're going to be in a heat wave right into next week, so no change really in the weather. Enjoy the cooler evenings. However, winds a little bit breezy. Tri Cities right now and Pendleton everywhere else. Winds are very light this evening, so clear with some light winds, very warm temperatures into well late tonight actually increasing smoke and haze unfortunately should start to see that smoke and haze move out of the area by Friday but that heat wave continues through next week now if you're planning on hitting the road here in the next couple of days warm and dry for most of the Pacific Northwest look for morning fog and partly cloudy skies on the coast but uh, not too bad in the afternoon and much cooler temperatures there fire danger is high all through the Pacific Northwest and again those gas prices continue to stay high so again, maybe stay home. I don't know. Maybe head to the coast. Might want to cool down there. I'll get to your full first alert weather forecast on the way. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. A new report says nearly half of the tap water in the United States is contaminated with something known as forever chemicals. We talk about them a lot. That's according to a new survey from the U.S. Geological Survey. Scientists collected water samples directly from taps at 716 private wells and public sources. Based on their findings, they estimate at least one forever chemical would be detected in 45% of U.S. drinking water samples. The number of people drinking contaminated water could be even higher than what the study found, though. That's because there are more than 12,000 types of these forever chemicals called PFAS. The researchers weren't able to test for all of them. Exposure, we know, is linked to cancer, obesity, thyroid disease, high cholesterol, decreased fertility, liver damage, and hormone suppression. On Saturday, a new state law went into effect, making drug possession a gross misdemeanor. But you may remember there was a while where it wasn't clear that state lawmakers would be able to pass that law in time. So many cities stepped up to make their own rules. Spokane was one of the first. Derek Dice went on patrol with Spokane police to see the impact of their new drug possession ordinance. What we're starting to see is less and less people out in public using, openly using drugs. But on patrol with Spokane police, it doesn't take long to find this man openly using Mexis, a counterfeit fentanyl on the corner of 2nd and Division. I don't know if I'm being arrested. Sorry, you, yeah, you're under arrest. For, I'm talking about like going to the station or something. Uh, yes, we're going to do that. The officer uh, saw the man openly using drugs from his patrol car. Our enforcement of the ordinance is very specific to where we have to see actually him ingesting it. It's, you can't, they could have everything laid out before them, but we need to see him ingesting it. So lighting and breathing the fumes in. Officers have the discretion to cite and release drug users or take them to jail. Please, please give me a warning. Please. I've been giving people warnings for months. But Lieutenant Waters believes in most cases, jail is a better option than leaving them in a bad situation. We're leaving right on the same street corner that they were probably able to buy the drugs or get the drug from a friend, they're gonna to continue to use. But even with all the arrests since early May, is the ordinance actually helping to clean up downtown? Ryan Vane is the general manager of the Reclaim Project's used furniture store right next to the House of Charity, so he's seen it all. There's a dude standing on the corner right over here that just openly yells across the street to like 15 people who are around the Catholic Charities building, I have 250 pills. Vane says the drug problem downtown is getting better and he appreciates the new ordinance, but he's still seeing the impact of drug use every day. It's just a constant problem with the fentanyl use down here. Ricky Gillahan of More Space Self Storage around the corner also deals with drug use and more. They use my loading dock as a restroom, so there's 
feces, it smells like urine. We have to pressure wash everything off. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Both Vane and Gillahan tell us they've lost business because of it. We had probably five or six of them people just come down the street and once they got here, they called me on the phone and decided, we don't want to rent with you guys. We've had people literally call us and say, we decided not to stop to purchase an item that we found online because we're scared of the neighborhood. Police are sympathetic to business owners while still trying to get drug users the help they need. People like this man who says he relapsed after completing a 30-day rehab program in Las Vegas. And he said, I, I need to go do 90 days. I had no idea how hard it was and, you know, I mean. So he understands he has a problem. He, he absolutely understands. He's very forthright, um, wants to wants to get back into rehab and try again. I don't think we're going to arrest our way out of this problem, but if, if he can get to a place where he's stable, not using, can get a ticket and get back to rehab, I think that's a success. That was Derek Dice reporting. Now making national headlines tonight, the Biden administration is facing orders from a federal judge not to contact social media sites. We're going to explain what prompted that decision. And taking a look outside, we are tracking that hot, hazy weather and potential smoke from all the wildfires we've been covering. That is next on Apple Valley News Now at 6.30. Portion of CAPKV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. The extended 4th of July sale of Furniture Row is on now, and the savings are explosive. Best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, plus five years, no interest. But hurry, the extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends soon. My mom hired a bath fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took forever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. I wanna rock! The electrifying rock stars from the original cast of the Broadway production now in concert. No! This is Broadway's Rock of Ages band. Live and in concert. Friday, July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Broadway's Rock of Ages Band, performing the monster hits that helped define the 80s. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Legally Speaking. Hi, I'm Eddie Morphine of Morphine Law Firm. As an attorney, I want you to know that when you hire a lawyer, you are in charge. The attorney works for you. Now, whether you've been involved in an auto accident, have a Consumer Protection Act situation, or have a personal injury claim, the attorney is there to look out for your best interests. Now, if they're not doing that, you have the right to seek different legal representation. Remember, if you've been wronged, we want to help make it right. We offer free, no obligation consultations. Call us at Morphine Law Firm. Let us answer your questions. And if legal representation is right for you, we'll provide you with the legal representation you need. We're not afraid to fight for you. Call us at Morphine Law Firm in Kennewick, 509-380-9999. From the very beginning, we've been taught safety is very important. It's an act of love. When we're on the road, every action we take gets everyone to a safer place. Each of us can make a difference. Slow down. Ride sober. Get endorsed. Get training. Alone we are strong. Together we are stronger. And together we get there. At LL Flooring, we've seen it all. It's a rental. It's, it's a, a remodel. remodel. It's a really bad day. Can I do this? Can you do this? We help you find your right floor at the right price. Turning indecision into your best decision. LL Flooring. Every step covered. The extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row is on now, and the savings are explosive. Best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, plus five years, no interest. But hurry, the extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends soon. 
Tonight, a federal judge is temporarily limiting how much the Biden administration can contact social media companies. These new restrictions come after two Republican state attorneys general sued the federal government. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington with the details. The U.S. Department of Justice is reviewing a federal judge's injunction that could have major implications for First Amendment rights. The order from the judge, appointed by former President Trump, puts restrictions on when Biden administration officials can contact social media companies as a legal challenge moves through the court system. Republican attorneys general in Missouri and Louisiana filed a lawsuit claiming that the White House went too far in pressuring social media companies to remove misinformation about America's election security and the COVID-19 pandemic from their platforms. They're killing people. I mean, it really, they really, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. Judge Terry Doty calling the Biden administration's efforts a massive attack against free speech and targeted suppression of conservative ideas, adding in part, quote, American citizens have the right to engage in free debate about the significant issues affecting the country. The decision means top White House officials and several federal agencies, including the FBI and the Department of Justice, cannot communicate with social media companies for the purpose of urging, encouraging, pressuring or inducing in any manner the removal, deletion, suppression or reduction of content containing protected free speech. They can, however, contact them regarding any potential illegal activity and national security threats. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. Well, it's been a hot, hazy day today. The haze is kind of come and gone. It looks a little better this evening. It's not out of the area just yet. Our sunset tonight is 851 and not a bad view tonight on our Legends Casino Skycam Columbia Point. Now our evening planner in the Tri-Cities again, very warm for the first part of the evening. Still 90 degrees at 8, finally dropping down to 85 with those hazy conditions. Yakima getting down to 85 by 9 o'clock. So uh, other than a little bit of haze in the air, not a bad night to sit out at the swim pool and in Walla Walla pleasant evening there again a little bit cooler along the foothills with temperatures down to 80 by 9 p.m. So yes, grab the barbecue and enjoy again satellite and radar ridge of high pressure. We're kind of stuck between two jet streams kind of holding in that air and letting that northern flow come down into our region and bring that smoke and haze pretty much across the entire Pacific Northwest and it's going to remain that way for a while. Winds are pretty light this evening, a little bit breezy in the Tri Cities, nice and light in Hermiston as well as Walla Walla, Yakima and in Ellensburg. We still have that red flag warning again for the west side of the state. Dry fire danger remains high. We've got several fires burning the Olympic Peninsula, uh, the one in the Skamania area. So again, we want to be very fire wise. A lot of people still heading out camping and traveling through those regions. So be thinking about that. Air quality around the area is kind of coming and going. Now we are seeing that haze start to bring the air quality down in Hermiston right into the Horse Heaven Hills Prosser area. Tri-Cities, Yakima, Toppenish, and Ellensburg okay tonight. But again, that will be changing as the winds continue to shift directions and blow down from the north, bringing the smoke and haze again in from Canada. You can see my uh, air barbs pulling that smoke right into our region. And this is through Thursday morning. Uh, our map only goes out 15 hours, so I can only track this till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. But again, smoke and haze in the area will finally start to get a break as we get into your day on uh, late Thursday night into Friday. Uh, temperatures overnight tonight on the mild side, 62 Walla Walla, 65 Tri-City, 65 in Yakima, 62 tonight in Hermiston. For uh, tomorrow, let's take a look at temperatures around the Yakima and Kittitas Valleys. Again, nice and warm, 97 in Toppenish and Yakima, lower 90s there in the Kittitas Tass Valley, Columbia Basin, Hermiston, Prosser right there just around the triple digits, 100 degrees around the region, Moses Lake 97, Connell also 97, Foothills of the Blues tomorrow. Again, we're teetering just below the triple digit mark and again, very nice warm weather outside. All right, uh, keep those weather photos coming. Beautiful sunset and again, when the smoke and haze is out, the sunsets are actually more uh, prettier. So go snap a photo tonight. Send it in to S. Lee at Apple Valley 
newsnow.com, and I'll get that on the air for you. Next three days, again, those triple-digit temperatures here in the Columbia Basin. Saturday, not much relief at 99 into the Yakima Valley. Again, just under the triple digits, hot and hazy. We'll start to see relief from the smoke and haze again, probably Friday evening into Saturday. But again, Walla Walla, nice and hot uh, through the next couple of days. So be fire wise, stay hydrated and stay here for your full seven day forecast. It's on the way. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. We'll be right back with another look at the pot story that is making headlines tonight. XBT. We unlock our vault to spotlight Mila Kunis. M-I-L-A, last name K-U-N-I-S. Never before seen interviews. A special <laughs> ET is next. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, it's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $2,250 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Bruce Heating and Air. Not being able to see up close can be frustrating. Introducing Eye Candy, the sweet new way to see everything bigger, brighter, and better than ever before. This lightweight, easy-to-hold magnifier utilizes an optical-grade lens that enlarges print by 300%. Yes, 300%. Embedded in Eye Candy's frame are 12 anti-glare LED lights that dramatically help increase clarity. It's a flashlight and magnifier in one. Lightweight and portable, Eye Candy is ideal for dimly lit restaurants. Read recipes, prescription bottles, or nutritional information. Order now to get your eye candy for only $19.99. But wait, there's breaking news. Eye candy may be discontinued. Due to rising costs, eye candy is shutting down and stopping manufacturing effective immediately. There's a strict limit of three eye candies per order. Order now. Call 1-800-931-3546 or visit tryeyecandy.com. That's 1-800-931-3546. Order now. An eagle eye tour of spectacular Boundary Dam. Come along to the North Ponderé River as we fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Which hotel? <gasps> Somebody say which hotel? I'm great at this. Dance your faves in the spa like bathroom. Or enjoy local craft beers with breathtaking views at the Cambria. Book direct at choicehotels.com. Floor scuffs, tears, and nasty scratches. Forget them for good with Ruby Sliders, the chair leg covers that stretch to fit most chairs and make floor marks a thing of the past. Slide it here, slide it there, slide it anywhere. Just slip them on and keep your floors looking like new. They fit any size or shape furniture leg and glide effortlessly. Forget flimsy felt pads and caps that don't fit. Just stretch it on and slide it. Call or click now to get Ruby Sliders for as low as 99 cents with free shipping. A succession sweep, Ted Lasso about to score big, and Harrison Ford ready for his first nomination ever. Are there any slam dunks? We break down the top Emmy contenders. What could put Brad Pitt in the mix? Next Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. This is Broadway's Rock of Ages Band. On July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. Breaking news tonight, flights to Spokane International Airport are being held right now because of a bomb investigation. Here's what we know so far. Police got a bomb threat just before 5 this evening. Investigators say a man on a flight on an Alaska Airlines flight from Atlanta to Seattle was making threats and that prompted the flight to be diverted to Spokane instead. We are told the plane landed safely. All of the passengers have disembarked and the Spokane County Bomb Squad is now processing the plane. We are working to get more information. We'll bring you those updates as we get them on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We'll be back with a final check of your forecast in just a moment. Yeah! Charbroiled beef, jalapenos, pepper jack, bacon, habanero. Your mouth will be on fire. Tell your mouth. El Diablo made you do it. My rewards members can get a one-time El Diablo single for $6.66 in the Carl's Jr. app. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, 
It's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $2,250 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Bruce Heating and Air. Stan, where's Alice? She's supposed to stay with us. Oh, shoot. Where could she? Hey, everybody. I'm Alice. I'm new here. The new zipline ride looks so fun. You go back and forth. Awesome! And we've lost control of the Alice situation. Triple Play has fun for everyone, including the brand new zipline ride. And it's all attached to a cozy hotel. I mean, she's a natural spokesaur who isn't tempted to eat anyone. Uh... You know, because she's an herbivore. Where are the most beautiful main streets in America? This week, GMA's popping up live on main streets across the country, filled with the best shops and local charm. And just wait until you see the surprises we have. So, will we be near you this week on Good Morning America? Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and Hermiston. Every location is conveniently located. And now, Smoke City for Less Hermiston has relocated to North First Street by AutoZone. An easy turnoff, 395 and you are there. For the lowest price, prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Open seven days a week, five locations, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and the new location in Hermston, off 395. Smoke city for less, we smoke the competition. Ooh, someone just got the new DQ cake batter cookie dough blizzard. All that DQ soft serve, cake batter flavor, confetti cookie dough pieces, and signature sprinkles? Dad, you said you'd wait until you got home before digging in. I never said that. Pretty sure you did. <laughs> oh, cue the confetti! That's cold. Because the new DQ cake batter cookie dough blizzard won't be here forever. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it in the app. Introducing the new line of crispy chicken pizzas from Little Caesars. Large pizzas with white sauce and crispy chicken. Topped with either a swirl of barbecue, buffalo, or garlic parm sauce, or choose no swirl at all. New crispy chicken pizzas available online for $9.99. Pizza, pizza. Carl's Jr. is spicing up the all-day two-for-five-dollar deal savings. Try a new spicy little cheeseburger, spicy chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, or French toast dips, and more. Pick any two all day, five dollars. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back in your health news tonight. Clinical overuse of marijuana is linked to a variety of complications after surgery. That's according to a University of Texas Health Science Center study. Now, complications could include things like blood clots, stroke, breathing difficulties, kidney issues, and even death. Previous studies had found that smoking marijuana impacts the blood flow to your brain and your body. It can contribute to airway blockages and raise your blood pressure and heart rate. All of that can make recovery from surgery more difficult. Of course, as always, talk to your doctor if you're getting that there you go. happening. Let's talk weather, Let's and we're talking extended heat wave, Alyssa, and unfortunately, uh, I can't give anyone a break. Maybe in the <laughs> evening, early in the morning, it's even hot at night to me. So. The mornings haven't felt too bad The lately. mornings are pretty good, but let's go ahead and take a look at that seven-day forecast. This is what Yakima's looking like the next few days. Again, we stay in those upper 90s, a little tiny cool down on next Wednesday, but hazy conditions should improve for us again going through uh, the next uh, few days there. In Tri-Cities, let's break things down here. Look at these triple digits. Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday. I mean, Saturday at 99, not a big break there. And again, those hazy conditions. We'll start to see for some relief, uh, hopefully Friday afternoon and evening into the weekend. But those uh, warm temperatures are staying with us. And look at Tri-Cities overnight lows. The low, 71, so it does not cool off. That doesn't give you a, a whole lot of relief. And with the haze, you can't keep windows open. So again, uh, to get those fans going in doors and maybe keep the windows closed for the next couple of days and debuting tonight our Walla Walla <laughs> seven day planner you guys asked we listened and here you go Walla Walla again 99 degrees uh, for Thursday Friday very warm there uh, into the weekend triple digits on Sunday and maybe a little smidge of a cool down on Wednesday all right so we can hope for the Walla Walla wine festival things will calm down a little bit hopefully. yeah I'm ready <laughs> all right thanks Stacy thanks so much for watching we're back tonight at 11.